um, in this in the previous video we are trying to write okay first let me go to our workspace I click on workspace uh, project we are working on web tutorial all right let me just put this file in this in the previous video we are trying to write um, the HTML snippet you can see okay um, let me just continue with that then I'll show you how to do it in a very simple way without um, writing out all these lines of code with just one click you have all the uh, HTML snippet um, that will be the, the structure of your HTML page just with just one line of code you have that so after HTML you the format will be that you have the head so I have the head tag. You see, closes itself. Then I'm just go after the head tag. In the head tag, rather, you have the title tag. Title tag. You see, title tag. Then. Let me get out of the head tag. After that, you have the body tag. Okay, body tag. So this is just um, a routine format for writing HTML. But I don't have to go this way. With just one um, line of code, I'll have this. Let me just erase this. So what is the other way I can just write this without writing them individually? You come here, come to HTML snippet, sorry. okay you cannot see that but look right down my right hand side you see html slip snippet in this um really stuff you see this html snippet here it's right here i think this is covering it but you can see something like that the html snippet you see html snippet so um, that's what you use once you click on it you have it to help you structure out the layout the the structure for this for the HTML page so I'll click on it you see can you see that once you just tap on that HTML snippet you have all of this even better than what I was trying to type um, before now so what does this mean you have doc type HTML that's it to, to tell you that this of um, the current version version 5 of HTML then HTML language English, then come to head, head tag. You see the open tag and the closing tag. Meta chasset equals to this is just UTF, this um, um, screen size. Screen size, it talks about uh, how my my code we, we, we appear in different screen sizes. Then you have title, page title. Take for instance, you if you if you hit to go head to Google, let's just do that. You type, sorry, you type what is HTML? Okay, what is HTML? You see. Um, different searches will come up different searches so this is what uh, you see hosting hosting when you click on that let me just show you this is the title I'm talking about okay 
this is what I'm talking about that's the title that's the title I'm talking about this right here is the title I'm talking about so that's where it comes into play so you have to name your page give it the title the right title so, yeah. so the body is what will appear in your web page the body once you open your page is what you have there so that is that so i think this this makes a lot of sense so and you should also know the opening and the closing tag the opening and the closing tag the opening tag have a corresponding closing tag you see body another body which is the closing tag so that's that let's go ahead and just say hello world which is a popular um routine mm, you know if you're just starting out you have to just type hello world you can type wherever you want but i think that's most popular so i will use an html tag okay i will use an html tag I'll just write it then explain what it means so i use an h1 tag say h1 sorry i have to put my uncle angle bracket say h1 see it closes itself just write hello world inside my h1 okay so first we we'll run this, then I'll explain how we get we got this. Oh, where do I run this so that I'll see what I'm typing or what I've written in my HTML page? So I'll come here. You see something that looks like display icon. That's what I'll use to run it. So I'll click on it. You see? <laughs> Congratulations. So you see, hello world. Um, this is the first and line of code you've written in this tutorial so congrats hello world you have that hello world so I'll go back so let me explain to you what HTML tag means so I come to uh, so HTML tag you see HTML tag you have that so let's look at let's look at that Tags are used to mark up the start of an HTML element and they are usually enclosing angle bracket. You see, each example, H1, opening and closing tag. P, which is paragraph, opening and closing tag. So this explains that. And a browser does not display the HTML tag, but uses them to determine how to display the document. So that is tag. If you come back to what we have here, if you come back to work you will discover that where this page what well, let me run it again by clicking the play icon you discover that the h1 we used is not here it is only the hello world that came out that is visible so that h1 we used to open and close that it did not display on the page so it is only used to run to determine how the page we output i don't know if you get that you see let me use uh a p tag this time you see let me use a p tag so that you get it better p tag all right this is a paragraph so this is a paragraph tag so if i save this save for save here yeah. All right. If I save, save, I'll run that. You see, this hello world and the the other this is a paragraph tag are different. Let me um, zoom in so that you can see it better. You see, the hello world is bigger and bolder, a block, and this paragraph is smaller. So, but the p tag does it show? No, not of course not. So it shows that the tags determine how my page runs the tag determines how my page runs so hello world this is a paragraph tag 
determine how this page how this this h1 and p are called html tag they determine how the page will run on the browser and do not necessarily have to output you cannot see that you will not see them when you are running your page okay so i think you've gotten that um let me explain one more concept which is html element so from here you can see we have what is an HTML? An HTML element is defined by the start tag, some content, and an add tag. Element created created using tag and they can element are created I beg your pardon using tags and they can be nested and empty. So this is the structure of an HTML element. H1. Then after that you have a color. Oh, okay, this add the color to HTML. You have blue. So after that you have the anchor closing tag. This is my first heading. So this explains that it contains the following start tag, which is the H1 attribute, color red and a tag. So it means that what this is talking about is that the opening tag, the closing tag, and the content make up an HTML element. All right, let me explain that better. Take for instance, you have this. This is a, an, a tag and it's open tag, right? You already know that. If you have this, this is another tag, a closing tag, right? You already know that. What is an element? An element, element is broader. It consists of opening tag, which is H1. Then content. Sorry. Cotton. I don't know why this is J2. Let me just head back to Okay. I think I'll, I'll, I'll just end the video here since I don't know why this is J2.